Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today, on the general topic of, laboring on the all-inclusive Christ typified by the good land for the building up of the Church as the body of Christ, for the reality and the manifestation of the Kingdom, and for the bride to make herself ready for the Lord's coming. 2023 Winter Training, Week 5, Day 2. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, Abide in Christ and Experience His Sacrificing Life to Live a Life of Sacrifice. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. When we believers in Christ contact the Christ typified by the vine and experience His sacrificing life, He in us will energize us to live a life of sacrifice, producing wine to make others happy and also to make God happy. Amen. The Lord Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches, as the vine, He has a sacrificing life, a life that sacrifices itself for God to be cheered and for man to be happy. There is a story in Judges 9 that shows that the vine produces the wine which cheers God and man, and the vine does not want to leave this wonderful function in order to go and wave over the trees, that is, to lord it over other trees. Abimelech, one of the many sons of Gideon, wanted to wave over the trees and lost his function of cheering others by drinking and flowing the new wine of God. But Jotham chose not to do this, he chose to not lord it over others. We need to realize that the Lord Jesus as the reality of the all-inclusive good land is a land of vines, He is the vine, the self-sacrificing one. When we read the Gospels we cannot but be impressed and filled with appreciation of the Lord Jesus, who was God who became man but lived a life of sacrificing Himself. He sacrificed Himself to the uttermost to serve those around Him, and He even laid down His own life for His sheep, His disciples. He was not forced or coerced to die for us, He willingly laid down His life for us. He had the power and authority to lay down His life, and He could have passed this cup from the Father, but He took the Father's will and drank the cup, dying for us. Because He died for us, we as many sinners can believe into Him and partake of His eternal redemption, and we can enter into the enjoyment of all that God is and has. Because of Christ's redemption, we are filled with enjoyment and rejoicing. We can now rejoice and be cheered because Christ died for us, sacrificing Himself for us. This One lives in us today. As believers in Christ, we have Christ living in us, and He in us energizes us to live a life of sacrifice so that we may sacrifice ourselves for others. We may think that, because we love our spouse and our children, and because we love the saints, we are willing to sacrifice for them. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to do this, for our life is ultimately a selfish life, our natural life is a selfish life. We need to contact the Lord again and again to experience Him as the vine, and He will energize us to live a life of sacrifice, producing wine to make God happy and to make others happy as well. Contact Christ and experience His sacrificing life to be energized to live a life of sacrifice. On His side, the Lord Jesus lived a life of sacrifice. He is the vine, and we are the branches in the vine. If today we contact the Christ typified by the vine and experience His sacrificing life, we will be energized by Him to live a life of sacrifice to make God and others happy, Romans 12 1, Ephesians 5 2, 2 Corinthians 1 24. Christ lived a sacrificing life, and now He is looking for many who would follow Him to live such a life of sacrifice today so that new wine may be produced to make others and God happy. In Matt. 9:17, the Lord Jesus said that people do not put new wine into old wineskins, otherwise the wineskins burst and the wine pours out, thus both the wine and the wineskins are wasted or ruined. The new wine needs to be put in new wineskins. The new wine refers to Christ as the new life that we enjoy through our regeneration. This new wine invigorates us, cheers us, satisfies us, and energizes us. When we drink Christ as the new wine, we are energized and cheered, and we're inwardly invigorated. The more we drink Christ as the new wine, the more we become cheerful. Under the Lord's sovereignty, we may be put into situations when we need to sacrifice ourselves to make others happy, Romans 12 1, Ephesians 5 2. The Lord sovereignly arranges circumstances in which we can grasp the opportunity to sacrifice ourselves to make others happy. For example, a mother of a young child needs to sacrifice herself to wake up in the middle of the night when her little one wakes up. In the family life much sacrifice is needed, out of love for one another, the husbands sacrifice themselves for their wife and their children, and the wife sacrifices herself for her husband and her children. Sometimes we may say that the marriage life is like a cage, for we're stuck in there, very limited, and there are many restrictions. Eventually, we realize that, if we speak of our marriage life in this way, our cellmate may not appreciate it so much. It's better to say that our marriage life is a situation in which sacrifice is involved. In our daily life, especially in the marriage life, we need to learn to sacrifice ourselves, not by our own effort but by the Lord's life of sacrifice. We are daily put in situations where we need to sacrifice ourselves. In our relationships with others, much sacrifice is required. 
The problem is, however, that many times we don't see the opportunity that is available. Rather, we complain, we murmur, we want to change our situation, or we want to escape. Instead of this, may we all learn to turn to the Lord, open to Him, and contact Him as the vine so that we may enjoy and experience His life of sacrifice in the midst of this situation. If in the midst of our situations, we contact the Lord, we will experience Him as the wine-producing vine, as the one who gives cheer to God and to others, Philippians 3 1. In the situations that we're in, under the Lord's sovereign arrangement, we can learn what it means to contact the Lord and experience Him as the wine-producing vine. We can enjoy Him as our new wine, and as we do this, we're cheered up, and we will be able to give cheer to others. The issue of contacting, enjoying, and experiencing Christ as the new wine is that in Him, by Him, with Him, and through Him we become a vine that produces something to cheer God and man. He in us can do it. He in us can feed others and cheer them. It is not us in ourselves and by ourselves. Especially in the marriage life we see and sense this quite often. Sometimes one of the spouses tries really hard in their natural power and zeal to sacrifice themselves, but at one point they crash and burn, being bitter with their situation and unwilling to sacrifice anymore. Oh, Lord! May we simply present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, well-pleasing to God, for this is our reasonable service. May we contact the Lord as the wine-producing vine so that we may experience His sacrificing life and be willing to be a sacrifice for others for them to drink the new wine. When we experience Christ's life of sacrifice in this way, others will drink the new wine and will be cheered. It is good to have many intimate conversations with the Lord regarding this, throughout the day and all the time, to open to Him and tell Him. Lord Jesus, we want to contact You as the wine-producing vine. You are the one who always sacrifices Himself for others to be happy and for God to be satisfied. We want to experience Your sacrificing life today. Energize us to live a life of sacrifice today. O Lord, in ourselves we're not willing to sacrifice ourselves for others, but we come to You to enjoy and experience Your life of sacrifice. May we contact You in the midst of all our situations so that we may experience You as the wine-producing vine. Cheer us as the new wine. Fill us with Yourself as the new wine. May we enjoy and experience You as the sacrificing life so that in You, by You, with You, and through You, we may become a vine that produces something to cheer God and man. Amen, Lord, be expressed through us and in us. Increase yourself in us and be manifested through us today. Be the new wine flowing out of us into others for them to be cheered and made happy. Abide in Christ as the vine and drink the new wine, being filled with joy in the Lord. John 15 5 shows us the kind of organic relationship we have with the Lord, we are the branches in Christ the vine. Christ is the embodiment and expression of God, and in Him, all the fullness of the Godhead is pleased to dwell. But this Christ went through a process to be enlarged and increased to include us, the many believers in Christ as the many branches of Christ. The vine and the branches are intimately related, they cannot be separated, for the vine is in the branches and the branches are the vine. Christ and His believers are joined together in spirit in an organic union to be the organism of the triune God for His increase and expression on the earth. When we believed into the Lord Jesus, He branched out in us and grafted us into Himself as the vine. Now we are branches of Christ and we simply need to abide in Christ to absorb the riches of His life and be filled with Him. As we fellowship with the Lord, open to Him, pray, sing, and contact Him, He dispenses Himself into us and His life becomes our life. He flows in us and grows in us, and He is lived out in us and through us. We believers in Christ are branches of the vine and, simply by abiding in Christ, we enjoy His rich supply and become His expression. Hallelujah! If we experience Christ as the wine-producing vine, We will have much wine to drink, and we will be drunken and mad with Christ, that is, filled with joy in the Lord, John 15 11, Acts 5 41, 13 52, Phil. 3 colon 1a, 4 to 4. If we drink Christ, experience Christ as the wine producing vine, and are filled with His sacrificing life, we will be filled with the Lord and we will have His joy become our joy. This is the real joy, and this joy is not like the joy in the world. We need to give the Lord the preeminence, focus on Him, turn to Him, and behold Him, and we will enjoy Him. We will care only for Him. We will be a crazy lover of the Lord, for we only want more of Christ, the One whom we love. We are in love with the Lord Jesus for only He is worthy of our love. Many times, however, we get distracted by the things in the world and even by our own condition. Sometimes we examine ourselves, turning inwardly and trying to see what is our condition and where we are. This is to be introspective. Oh, Lord Jesus! When we are introspective, we turn our eyes from the Lord to ourselves, and we are miserable and poor. But when we turn our eyes from ourselves and our condition unto the Lord, we will be filled with joy, for we will drink the new wine and we will even be drunk with this new wine. 
may we have a habit of turning from ourselves, from our situation and from anything else to the Lord to drink Him, be filled with Him, and be saturated with Him as the new wine. May we enjoy and experience the sacrificing life of Christ in our daily life so that others would drink the new wine of Christ and we ourselves would be filled with this new wine. When we do this, the joy of the Lord becomes our strength. The Lord Jesus was a joyful person, He was willing to sacrifice Himself for the joy set before Him. All He cared for was to dispense His divine life into us. May we not worry about improving ourselves, fixing our behavior, and analyzing what we are and have within us. May we keep turning to the Lord and drink of Him inwardly, being one spirit with the Lord in all things, 1 Corinthians 6 17. When we turn to the Lord in all our situations and drink of Him, when we simply abide in the Lord and drink Him as the new wine, we will be filled with the joy of the Lord. Nothing and no one will bother us. Others will reject us and persecute us, and even close friends may cut their ties to us because we love the Lord so much. But we have the Lord, and He is enough. We are willing to live a life of sacrifice in the Lord and with Him. Lord Jesus, thank You for branching out into us to make us branches of Christ, the vine. Hallelujah, we believers in Christ are branches in the Lord and we simply need to abide in Him. Keep us abiding in You today. Keep us enjoying all Your riches. Amen, Lord, may we forget about our situation and condition and simply focus on absorbing Your riches into us. Dispense more of Yourself into our being. Fill us with Yourself as the new wine. O Lord, we come to You as we are and we want to drink the new wine of Christ. Fill us with the new wine. Fill us to overflowing. May we have the joy of God and may we also bring others joy by flowing out the new wine of Christ to them. Amen, Lord Jesus, we want to learn to contact you in all our situations and experience the sacrificing life of Christ so that we may be filled with the new wine and also flow out this wine to others to cheer them and to cheer God.